Hello and welcome. Try to solve this problem on your own. You can do it, and then when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. They want us to solve for x and this inequality, so I'm going to just start by rewriting it. 7x minus 3 times 4x minus 8 is less than or equal to 6x plus 12 minus 9x. And the first thing I'm going to do is distribute the negative 3. So we get 7x minus 12x plus 24. Right, negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x, and negative 3 times negative 8 is positive 24. And that's less than or equal to negative 3x plus 12 because 6x minus 9x is negative 3x. Then I'm going to add 3x to both sides. I like to gather my x terms on one side. And also, here, I, I could have combined 7x minus 12x, but the order in which we do this balancing doesn't really matter. We have 10x minus 12x, right, plus 24. So we need to do two things here. We combine these two terms. That's negative 2x. And I'm going to subtract 24 on both sides, right? So we get negative 2x, right? You can actually write this down, the line here. 24 minus 24 is 0, and 12 minus 24 is negative 12. So now that gives us negative 2x is less than or equal to negative 12. And we divide both sides by a negative. The key is to remember to switch the direction of the inequality. And x is greater than 6. Excuse me, greater than or equal to 6. Um, and again, the reason you flip the inequality is because when you divide by a negative, you reverse the value of everything. So the order changes. So for example, if you have 1 is less than 2, and you divide both sides by negative 1, you get negative 1 is, is less than negative 2, but that's incorrect. Right? Negative 1 is actually larger than negative 2. So to fix that, you have to kind of change, you have to change the direction of inequality. So again, whenever you divide both sides by a negative value, or multiply by a negative value on both sides, you have to change the direction of the inequality. Now here, they're using bracket notation on the interval 4 through 8. This bracket means you include 4 through 8. So it's 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, and um, you know all the numbers in between. So it includes 4 and 8. If you saw this bracket, 4 and 8, it would not include 4 and 8 in your interval. It would only be 5, 6, and 7, and all the other decimals in between. So again, this, this kind of bracket needs to be include those endpoints. To state all the integers, that means positive or negative whole numbers that satisfy the given equa uh, inequality. So x is anything larger than or equal to 6. So that could be 6, or 7, or 8. All of those numbers are in this interval up here. All right, I hope this helped.